Lymphedema isn't exactly a common word. Most people have never even heard of it. Sometimes it gets mistaken for other ailments. So, what is it exactly? Lymph fluid and lymph nodes are a key part of our immune system. They help our bodies process immune system cells, proteins, and other important elements. Sometimes lymph nodes are removed due to cancer treatment. If this happens, your body might develop problems moving lymph fluid through your system. If a feeling of swelling or heaviness develops in your arm or leg, pay attention. This swelling is lymphedema. It can appear weeks or even years after your treatment for cancer. Repetitive motions like scrubbing a counter, activities like golfing or working with tools can aggravate the condition. Normally, lymph fluids simply move through your body unnoticed, but now those fluids could be backing up and swelling. What to watch for? Inward changes. Your arm or leg may feel heavy or full. Pain or tingling may develop. Outward changes. You haven't gained weight, but rings or clothes start to feel tight. Untreated, your arms, legs, neck, even your face may remain swollen for the rest of your life. If you notice these signs and symptoms, see your doctor. Lymphedema causes discomfort. The swelling can be uncomfortable and ultimately limit movement. Lymphedema must be managed. Some people are required to wear garments commonly called compression sleeves, hose, and gloves to contain swelling. Lymphedema is costly. You will probably need complete decongestive therapy, which takes time. Sleeves also cost money and you might need more than one. Not to mention, the garments may not be covered by insurance. Lymphedema affects your quality of life. Once you get it, you generally cannot cure it. You'll have to learn to live with it by following a treatment plan. So prevention is key. Here's a few ways to help prevent it. Get screened. If you are having surgery, ask for a lymphedema prevention post-op visit. A certified lymphedema therapist, especially trained occupational or physical therapist, will let you know if you are at risk. Know the signs. Watch the areas where lymph nodes may have been removed or damaged. Be wary of any skin pain, swelling, warmth, or redness. Notice anything out of the ordinary? See your doctor. Move. Preventative exercises or a therapy routine can help keep your lymph fluid flowing through your body. Exercise to move your lymph fluid throughout your body by pumping those muscles. Try walking, walking in a pool, or swimming. Assess. Think about your life and the activities that you enjoy, like gardening, jogging, basketball, golfing, or tennis. Do you do housework like vacuuming or scrubbing? Even strenuous movements like moving furniture can trigger it. Perhaps a sleeve or leg garment would be right during these activities. Ask your healthcare team. Prevent weight gain. Eat healthy. Enjoy fresh veggies and fruits. Stay away from salty, greasy, or fried foods, and say no to sugary drinks. For more nutritional tips, check out the links below and watch the nutrition video in this series. While a sauna or hot tub might sound good, avoid them if you're at risk for lymphedema. Also avoid hot or ice packs, they could also trigger swelling. Pay attention to minor injuries. Affected areas may be vulnerable to skin breakdown or infection. Use your other arm during blood pressure checks or blood draws. Use repellent to avoid bug bites and sunscreen to avoid sunburn. You may have never heard of it, but lymphedema can be a very serious and often unexpected side effect of cancer treatment. However, it can be avoided and managed. Ask questions, be informed. Check out our website for more information. Your garden and golf game are waiting.